Oh, Mama Frog here. Today has been pretty introspective. I've been thinking a lot. I've taken a bit of time lately to just kind of sit back and stay at home and relax and be by myself. And um, I mean, not that I haven't been speaking to other people or whatever, but I haven't gone anywhere and I've been a little bit antisocial. And it seems like there comes a time in your life, in everyone's life, when you have to step back and realize that everything is not as it seems. Um, everything is not um, the way that it may appear. Um, I've come to the realization that in one way or another, I've been used my entire life. And the thing about that, that it, the worst thing about that is that I don't have anyone to blame but myself because I allow it and I've allowed it my entire life. Um, It couldn't happen without my permission and um, and it's really sad especially that it's just now I'm just now figuring it out at the age of 35 um, I'm just now getting it and uh, it's sad you know it is what it is and um, I mean, the only thing that I can do from now, from here forward, is just try to be um, a better person for myself. Um, that's all I can do, really. And I'm not necessarily saying that I've been a bad person or um, or anything like that. It's just sometimes when you think that you, sometimes when you think that you are doing something that is good for you it's not always the case and sometimes whenever that little voice in the back of your head says hey what are you doing don't do that or um, that's probably a bad idea or um, you know uh, this person's a weirdo or whatever Sometimes it's it's best to listen to that little voice. Um, it saves a lot of, of trouble and um, heartache at times. Um, I, I, I sat back and I thought about all the things that I let slide. Um, you know, the the people in my life, um, the people in my life that are not willing to compromise, um, the people in my life that are so stuck and set in their ways that they're not willing to really try to do anything new or learn about anything new or care about anything new other than their own small perspective on things and that's not the life that I want to lead um, I'm only 35 and I mean I feel really old but it's like it's like I'm not in the grand scheme of things I don't know how long I'm gonna have on this earth I really don't there's no telling I could die tomorrow I mean it's it's a fact I could die tomorrow you could die tomorrow any of us could go at any time and we don't know and I say this, and I feel it, and I know it in my heart, that I want to live life to the fullest. And I want to experience as much as I can, and learn as much as I can every day. And, but it, it seems almost disingenuous, because saying it, and truly feeling it, are two different things. I know that in my... In my heart of hearts, I, I wish that 
I could always have that positive outlook and that that thought in the back of my head that everything is going to work out and that if you push if you push as hard as you can and you give as much as you can and you that you know you can have no regrets because you know you've lived your life the way that you wanted to live your life and all of that is fine and good, but there comes a time when you have to deal with some things or you just get lonely, you know. And I am both an extrovert and an introvert. I like to be out and I like to talk to people and I've never met a stranger. And, but also there comes a time whenever after being out with people, um, being in crowds, talking to people, I have to come home and I have to be alone to reset. And I have to be by myself someplace that's quiet. And I have to, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like it takes, it takes so much out of me to be around people. Because I guess I give so much of myself. I don't know. That that sounds really cliche and stupid. But I do feel that way. I do feel like I give way more of myself than I get back in general. Now, that that's not everyone. That's not in all situations. But, um, but yeah, I've been real introspective today. I've been talking to a couple of different people. <laughs> Um, you know, in terms of, of, you know, being friends or whatever, because I'm dating someone, at least I think I'm dating someone, I haven't heard from him in a couple of days, but, um, all these red flags keep popping up, and it's like, a lot of these things are things that I've dealt with in the past, and I'm just, I, in the past, I've just been like, oh, you know, it's no big deal, Fuck that, dude. No. No. I, I don't I don't have time for the nonsense. These red flags pop up. I don't want to be your friend. I have enough friends, trust me. I'm good. You know, I, I have I have friends and my friends are a very close circle of people that I trust with my life, that I trust with the most precious thing in my life, my dog. With my heart and my soul. Very, there are very few people that I can say that about. The very, the, the number one first person that comes to mind is, is my Jamie Bear. But nobody will ever understand all of the things that he and I have been through together. And we never met in person. Not once. But I was metaphorically sinking into darkness and I didn't think I would make it out and here he comes and he's a light and he found me in the darkness and he pulled me out of it and for that I'll be forever forever grateful to him because if it weren't for him I honestly would not be here um I would be I would be dead so, um, I don't know, just a little, just thought I'd share a little something. I haven't done a, 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 a vlog in a while, so I thought I'd, I'd share a little, um, a little piece of my, my mind mess today. There's a lot of things that I need to get off my chest and and talk about a lot of things that are that I'm irritated about I've been really irritable and just want to snap at everybody and not really wanting to talk to anybody and it's like everybody's just getting on my nerves and I don't understand why because you guys if you know me you know that that's not me you know that that I love people and I love to love and 
care about people and I really like to help people work through their problems. But lately it's like, why the fuck are you people coming to me for advice? My life is not great. Sure, I live at home with my parents and that's awesome. They help me out with, with things financially. That's great. But I'm 35 years old. I have no kids. I've never been married. I'm single. I can't work. It's not all that great. My life is not um is not a fairy tale. I mean, some of that stuff is good. I don't want kids. I don't think that I I don't think that I would be a good a good mother. I don't think I have the right um I don't think I have the patience. I don't think that I have the the right mentality to raise a child the way that they should be raised. So, I'm not going to have any kids. Period. I don't think a lot of people that do have kids should have kids. Sorry. But, you know, that's a good thing for me that I don't have any kids. Um, I don't know. I just end up with loser after loser after loser. And I have to stop and I think to myself, you know, these guys are losers or whatever, but I'm the one that keep picking them. I'm the one that keeps keeps choosing these these guys so maybe it's not them that's the problem maybe it's me and that's that's a scary thought so this video is getting a little bit long so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short and I'm gonna say bye bye um, I'm trying to be more cheerful and positive but I'm just not feeling it today um, however, I still love you guys, and, uh, and I will talk to you guys soon.